Hi, and welcome back to my driveway in Walla Walla, Washington, Bullet Machines, and I'm Dee Dee. Okay, I showed you before, um, I uh, got this 8-inch um, um, uh, forge job uh, mounted to the axles in here. And uh, this is a back plate to come off the internet. And so happens that back plate, they sell it both for um, that... Um, um, four jaw chuck, but that's the back plate that comes with that bow star thing, okay? And I just <laughs> I've got the Monarch 10 double E's inside, and I really don't really need to uh, uh, run 5C collets on this, but I can take that chuck off that mount and put this back on it, okay? But I'll show you what I'm gonna do inside. Let's go. These old machines are a lot of fun. Oh, make it through here without tripping. You're doing good. All right, into the friendly little door here. It's so much fun to come in here. I'll set this thing right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to mount this uh, Bowstar uh, 5C collar chuck. I think it would do me a lot more good um, on the dividing head on the uh, Brown and Sharp milling machine. Let me stand back. It's tight in here. Uh, Brown and Sharp number two um, milling machine, plain standard, weighs 5,000 pounds. And I looked it up, it cost $5,000 in 1942. It cost more in my little house here. And uh, the axles and lathe was $3,200. So a mill milling machine was substantially more expensive. Uh, than the Axelson. Well, anyway, I'm going to drill this and uh, I'm going to direct index these uh, three holes. And I ca uh, calculated it just real quickly. Didn't need to go on a surface plate. Got the, dis the center distance of the, the hole there and subtract and used an old caliper. Played around with it and I got it. <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to get you on, a, on the tripod here. And it would be kind of like you're standing next to me, I hope. Yeah. Now, this is the uh, um, sliding vertical head attachment with quill feet. And I'm going to use the quill feet. And, uh, and might as well just do it. I can do everything right here instead of uh, putting it in the jig bore or anything. Let's start it up and see how it runs. I don't have a huge selection of speeds, but uh, I got the tap drill for a 5 6 5 um, core, uh, fine thread. And I got that in an Ericsson collet chuck. And I'm choking up on that drill bit. So I'm going to go ahead and drill it. Make sure I'm on my mark here. Everything's good. Okay. Get that back a little bit. Try to keep that in your way. See that? So I'll get the brake off. Flip it around here. Which direction should I go? This way? Okay, on three. Right there. Lock it. Lift that lever. Looking good. Looks like it's in the right place to me. Well, that's just like downtown Hollywood. 
Okay. Now unlock it here. Move it to its last hole. And I believe that'll be on zero. There we go. Okay, lock it there. Now it's got a brake type lock here. How are we looking? Looking good. The hole's looking <laughs> in the right spot. So I think we're okay. Here we go. Okay, I'll just uh, bevel them and uh, tap them by hand using this to guide. But uh, one thing I want, wanted to talk about on this machine is uh, I, I've got it level. Check these balls out here if you can see them. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And uh, I'm taking care of these table slots. Now, tramming a head like this is pretty tough. I mean, it takes a whole bunch of time. And I showed this device before. Oh, yeah. Before I bought this machine, I talked to an old guy uh, that knows quite a bit about this kind of thing. And uh, I said, man, you know, those vertical heads uh, are so hard to tram. And he told me about this tool here. And it kind of scared some folks when they first saw it because uh, you use uh, these pins. I got a couple poked out there and uh, use the edges of the table slots. But um, I checked on, on another video uh, that the table slots are true with the machine, you know, with an indicator. But this type of tool here uh, just saves you a whole bunch of time. You see, you can even go against uh, the, the front edges. It just saves a bunch of time, like tramming in um, one of these heads. And I found a quick way to do this. I've been kicking this around. It's the first thing you do. I uh, put a, a true shaft in there. And this is a very true shaft. And it's actually a Harley Davidson ca uh, transmission counter shaft made by Jim's Manufacturing Company. And I'm not kidding, that's as accurate as anything Taft Pierce ever made. But I use that in here. And then I put the level on it and trammed it like this, just real quick. And then that made uh, the other tramming go a lot faster. Uh, relatively fast. So <laughs> that's one of the things about uh, these machines like this is if you move the head, you got, you got to tram it. And uh, th this uh, device here is really a nice way to do that. It works really, really fast. So, oh, another thing I got to do here. Let me grab this chuck here. Uh, well, this is a chuck that I rebuilt, and I modified it heavily. I uh, bored the hole out bigger. This was an old back mount chuck. I don't even know if the original holes are still there. But uh, I punched it from the, the front here and uh, made it a front mounting chuck. Well, anyway, see, it's got this register here. So I got I to gotta take an end mill. Let me set this down. and cut another register a little bit smaller for this. So when I stick that on, it'll, it'll pretty much find center. But I make those a little loose so I can knock those around a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay. So I got to take an end mill. This is a little taller than it needs to be, and I think I can get away with it. And I just need to take an end mill and cut that over so it's got a step like that. So it'll have two steps, but uh, they'll fit inside the larger chuck. I hope that's confusing enough. Okay. Well, I've got a lot going on. I could probably turn the camera on a couple more times. 
Um, I'll go ahead and load this video. I thought you might like to see this stuff. Isn't that cool? I haven't uh, uh, leveled it with the, with the super precision level. Let's see if I can find number 98 level. Oh, a little out there. Probably got some uh, chips under it. All right, better check it again. Okay, I'll be back. Thanks a lot. Bye.